Howdy ho neighbors, Rado Goji here. And I'm Soil and Greg, sorry I was drinking a <laughs> swallow of water there. And welcome back to uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, when we last left off, we entered the Water Temple. Uh, our fiancé <laughs> showed up, reminded us she's her, our fiancé, and then disappeared. We discovered we're betrothed to a fish, but honestly, it's not going to be hard to get out of it with her dad. It's like, he's such a pushover. He's just but, like... Uh, oh, I, I really must insist that you marry my daughter, please. Please, I can I can no longer stand having her around. Please. What if he turned out to be really racist and like, mm. you know, I, my daughter is not marrying a Hylian? <laughs> I have no problem with Hylians, but I would not want my daughter to marry one. <laughs> they they smell bad and bring crime. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! King Zora. Oh, calm down, Milton. Look, the we all know you're upset about your stapler, but. Take it down a notch, Zora's man. Zora's domain is for the Zoras. <laughs> I built an ice wall in Lake Hylia to keep out the filth from from See, the, that's why the never... fishing man and the, that's... And the even worse than the Hydeans, the fucking scarecrow <laughs> trying to get into my domain. <laughs> that's why it never unfreezes because he put mm. it there in the first place. That's right. Y'all think that like that was Ganon? No, no, that was inside King Zora all along. <laughs> That's who he was. Now, something you can do, um, what this is set up to do, is you, you shoot your arrows through this torch to hit the... Um, hit each of those. That makes sense. To hit each of those. Uh, me, an intellectual... <laughs> <laughs> Din's fire! Brilliant! I Bombos! <laughs> no, it's not Bombos. It's Din's fire. It's, it's the same fucking thing. Well, you know what? Um, just just for that, let's just call it Bombos for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the LP. That's fine with me. I Bombos. Nothing is forbidden anymore. Okay. Se quiero and puedo. <laughs> what the fuck? There's clams. <laughs> you trying to tell us something, game? Wow. Next thing you know, there's going to be... Blink just, like, knocked himself out on that fucking clam. Next thing you know, there's going to be fish that are talking like my best friend, and my best friend, and, and he's saying that, he, that he's been uh, an informant for the FBI this whole time. <laughs> exactly. It's a big mouth Billy Bass. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, the like the very next season premiere, wasn't it, with the big mouth Billy yeah, Bass? Yeah, they give him the big mouth Billy Bass, and you can just see in his face that it's, like, fucking killing him because it reminds him of pussy. And then, and then, and then Meadow gives him one for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, it's the best. Oh, God. Guys, The Sopranos, it's the best show. We were watching it right before we started filming. Uh, so yeah. Uh, four bucks a pound. <laughs> I uh, changed my mind. Made mine Black Forest ham. Peppers and eggs. <laughs> I didn't get any fairies. Oh, no. Before we came in. I was going to do that, and then I forgot. We'll see what happens, I suppose. You're all right, Rabbit. You might. So I wonder how well the... Because uh, when we... Um... Oh, there it is. There we go. When we go to, over to streaming, um, I did uh, I did have some, some changes in mind for how we brand ourselves, I okay. guess. Okay. I, I'm fairly sure we talked about it when you know during the drunk run, but now that I'm sober and can more, <laughs> we did talk about it during the drunk run. Yeah, but did. yeah, well, now that I'm more, I don't, we don't sure. remember most of it. Um, now that I can more eloquent, eloquently um, share my thoughts, um, so I'm probably I'm not gonna get like get rid of squeeze the world altogether. I, I, I'm fairly sure that we'll still do. I wouldn't blame you. I'm fairly sure we'll still do like you know podcasts and whatnot here and there. I'm, okay. And we're probably not. It's depending on I guess what our mood is. Probably not going to be like regular. Mm -hmm. um, but I figured you know squeeze the world is still a good name for like to give the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, but like when it comes to like the channel name and you know how I'm going to be going because. A lot of the, uh, it, with the, as far as the streaming of, of, of games goes, um, my my idea was to you know have two days that I'd be streaming. One day is either, it would either be Tuesday or, th or Saturday. Okay. And that would be like me by myself. And then Thursday. And then Thursday would be the two of us. Okay. Um. Whoa. We've seen outside the. We've seen beyond the veil. <laughs> Miyamoto just comes out of nowhere, like, no, you weren't meant to see that! Um, 
But it's, it's like, like, Squeeze the World is, like, the two of us, mm -hmm. but, like, I would say, like, like two third like, two thirds of the stuff that I do is, just like, me by myself. Yeah. Um, probably not use, like, the name for, like, everything, I guess. I don't, um, geez, I'm not even drunk anymore, can't even think of the best <laughs> oh, way to put it. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably stop going with Rado Goji. Uh, okay, my that's name. fine. I'm gonna go, I'm, I, I identify myself more... With uh, with Cap Cap with, Floopers, Captain with Floopers, Captain Floopers. I've actually been changing my. Uh, it, do you want me to start calling you Captain Floop Floopers on the well, on you, the videos? You calling me Patrick, so that's fine. Well, no, you say I'm Rado Goji, yeah. and I'm so great. You say I'm Captain yeah, Floopers, I'm, Cap and I'm Captain Floopers. Yeah, um, and I've already like been changing my like online name on a lot of things to Captain Floopers. Like I I've changed my PSN profile. I've changed my. Uh, I noticed that. I changed my, uh, my me, or my, uh, my, uh, Nintendo Online name. Yeah, if y'all want to friend Patrick, uh, on, on PlayStation Network, he's Captain Floofers. Um. C-A-P-T Floofers. Oh, man, now, now I'm gonna get, you know, s s five friend requests. <laughs> what have you done? You've opened Pandora's box. Oh, no! And I'm literally Soylent Greg on PSN, so. Um, I know my, my, my Twitch channel's called Captain Floofers. I'm probably going to change the uh, the title, because right now Squeeze the World Productions for the channel, but it's still, like, my private YouTube channel. Yeah. So I'm probably just going to change that to Captain Floofers. Um, so, like, I, w I would say, like, like Squeeze the World would still be, like, like the Squeeze the World podcast would still be that. Um, but it's only going to be, like, for stuff that, um, that, like, you and I do together. Okay. More or less. I mean, that's fine with me. I don't, you know, if you I wanted to retire the Squeeze the World name, I would, like, understand. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, no! Oh! <laughs> oh, the dramatic reversal! <laughs> you can, uh, you can stay down there. I'm reversal not, Reversal uh, of fortune there. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm off this way. Um, I'm really not sure when, when this, when this, like, transition is going to exactly take place. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know that, um, I'm going to be, start, I'm going to start looking for new-ish equipment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get myself a meteor mic. Okay. Um, cool. so I don't have to, I don't have to indefinitely hold on to yours anymore. It's a good it's microphone. Can, yeah. And, and that, and I, I figured I that, honestly you know, have forgotten that that is my <laughs> microphone, technically. <laughs> that we've been using all this time. Yeah, I, I figured that you would, you know, you would want that back to, like, you know, if you because I remember you saying that you wanted to do streaming stuff here and there as well. Uh, and you would, I occasionally get the idea to like stream myself or make but make, a, make a video or whatever, and you might want that for you, those purposes. You are actually going if you, when you start this, you will actually be the fourth person, uh, fourth person I know who who does uh, Twitch streaming besides myself. Who else does? Um, well, uh, that you know. Uh, I know I have three friends who do Twitch. Um, one of them just does it whenever he plays uh, Dota, and basically just uses it to chat with friends who like drop in. He uses it as, like a chat thing at the same time as he's playing Dota and like a second friend Dota. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I have one friend. Uh, she uh, is a um, is Smash player. She goes like actual tournaments and shit, and oh, okay. plays. And she plays Smash online. Um, Occasionally, and I also have a friend who just has tried to get into the the Twitch thing and is really into the whole like influencer thing and like turning it into like a career and it's just he's really like over like zealous about it. Oh, like I I hopped into his Twitch channel at one point like on well, my personal account he didn't know it was me and was just like watching and I think I like made a comment. On him, and he just stopped playing. I started typing at me and was like, "Please friend me so I can get like a Twitch affiliate account." Once I get oh enough God. accounts, I'm like, "Like, no, this is not the way to do this. This is not the way to do this." I mean, I like I, I've been saying like for years that that's sort of the thing that I, I want to eventually come from this sort of you know, oh yeah, no, venture. of course. But I I, I the the reason that not the main reason that I'm not monetized and all that stuff is because I I was waiting for the possible point in time where, you know, I'd have enough subscribers and enough of a viewership for it to be lucrative. Mm -hmm. uh, and that hasn't happened. So I'm not really going to make a huge deal out of it right now. That's fair. 
I, mean, I have never monetized a YouTube video. I, I don't even know how to do that. I am... I... Rest assured, my friends... Uh, oh, nice. Although, uh, Patrick is a filthy sellout. Uh, I am not about the money uh, at all. I am just here for the camaraderie. Yeah. Wait, I kind of so... want to start a Twitch channel, but like, I don't want it to be like an actual Twitch channel. Like, I just want it to be like, I, like I post like it's a it's like a string of like letters and numbers, and I post a thing of like a playlist of like uh, public access TV from the '80s and like commercials and like weird creepy shit, <laughs> and post it as like Little Nemo the Dream Master or something. <laughs> Or just, like, the, the thing where, like, all the weird shit was congregating in the Artifact channel because no one was actually playing Artifact. Oh, God. A while back. Like, just, that just, sort of are thing. Are you just gonna, like, just gonna, like, advertise that you're playing Artifact and then just, like, play, like, like, HR Puffin stuff or something well, like that? right after Artifact bombed, that was, like, a thing. People were going into Artifact because nobody was actually playing it. And just, like, watching Iron Man and, like, putting up porn and shit. Because, like, even fucking Twitch wasn't looking at the fucking <laughs> artifact. artifact shit. God. Do we already go this way? I don't know. I'm, I'm probably I... too lazy to do any anything like that. I, I oh, mean, yeah, we, we tried I to already, The thing is, I already... It's, it's odd, because this is what I do for a living. You know, I write and publish on Amazon. But the thing is, like, I have no... Like, the thing that... Everybody, like, takes in lieu of money, you know, like on Twitch and shit, is, is essentially notoriety. Um, yeah. And, like, I, I, my shit is completely anonymous. Like, I have no followers. I have no, you know, I know that I have fans, but I, I have no, like, social media accounts. I have no... Yeah, I followers. Don't I just, I just write and I write and I write. I don't, um, I don't have any of that either. If you know, I, I don't have a. I mean, I have a, a a personal Facebook that I only use to message Greg with, and that's it for uh, for social media. Like, I, I think I, what it is is I like compartmentalize. Like the writing, I solely do like for the money. Like I don't do it. Like I don't write, you know, smutty romance novels on Amazon to get famous. I do it to pay my fucking bills. <laughs> Uh, and, like, this, so this, like, I don't even, like, think about the money when it comes to, like, Twitch streaming or, like, putting up videos on YouTube, but, you know, I just think, like, oh, this is, how could I do this in a way that would be fun and, and humorous, essentially? And send me into the spikes while wearing a thing of boots. What are you doing? <laughs> Go down here. Oh, Okay. You know, really, once you take that first hit, you should just be able to walk along the spike. Well, yeah, you're, you're walking from spike to spike. And you have you have iron boots on. Yeah. Why am I getting hurt if it's... They're fucking iron! Exactly! Okay, there's some monsters up here. You know, if you decided to give your fiancé, uh, whatever the fuck her name is, your Zora fiancé, uh, your boots as a wedding present, uh then she would be the Iron Maiden. Yeah. You can you can drop me from the channel now. <laughs> I apologize. I've said worse. Your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's another band that I've never seen live that I really should at some point because they won't be here forever. Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden. Yeah, they, they can't have... How many more years can Iron Maiden really have of touring left? I know Judas Priest still has, like, you know... They probably still have a good amount of because they... Priest is still touring. Um, I know that because uh, when I was in uh, Florida in April, uh, my brother... Show, or he has Sp like Spotify or something, and he um, he turned on like uh, their their latest album, mm -hmm. and it they are still really fucking good. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I mean they, they don't you know you don't have to be as long as like you release an album that's not completely embarrassing at that stage in your career. It, it's it okay. <laughs> like oh, I was thinking Iron Maiden. Like nobody is like 
nobody is like putting anything Iron Maiden has made after like 2000 in their like top three or top five Iron Maiden albums. But they've never made. There's nothing like embarrassing, embarrassingly bad in their catalog. Like it's still solid. No, I'm thinking like I mean I don't know about him like what you would constitute as embarrassing, but Meg like Megadeth has put out some. Megadeth. Some... Megadeth had risk. <laughs> Megadeth did have risk. Risk is bad. At least when when Megadeth like went. At least when Dave went crazy and was writing like concept albums about like the UN taking over humanity or whatever. At least it wasn't in like the style of Risk. At least it was like thrash metal. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was still that. What the fuck? How do you get up there? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe we're just, you know, maybe we're just being um overly cautious. I mean, shit, Black Sabbath literally just like had their final tour and and ended it in like what was it like 2017 like two years ago and they've been going since you know the 60s well they so you know like bands like these i i don't i don't want to say that you know, try to try to i don't want to try to imply that, that you know that uh that they should just like keep like keep going until they well they until they die but like you know we got to have bands around like this because like who else is gonna like no one no one else is taking like the uh taking taking charge and being awesome you have band. a point like like i mean at some point though as much as i hate to sound like a like a grumpy old man i mean the, the these <laughs> these no bands please. sound like a grumpy old man these they, they band they don't they don't do like they used to the thing that I, I feel like has happened by and large with with music is that all of the like interesting like all the people who would have been in like interesting rock bands like post like the nineties are just in metal bands. Like like there's so many bands like um like Baroness and The Sword and shit that are just really just like they are just rock bands. Like I don't know why they're 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 put in as like heavy metal or whatever. But I think that I'm fairly sure there's fairies in here. Could be wrong. Why am I? I think I'm wrong. I am wrong. Oh, whatever. It's just weird because, you know, eventually we're going to see the last, like, Iron Maiden concert. We're going to see the last Metallica tour at some point in the next... Probably not for, like, 15 years, but we will, you know? Eventually. It's weird. I mean, you know, Megadeth uh, may be on its way out sooner than we think because, uh, unfortunately, despite him being the butt of many of our jokes, uh, yes. Dave Mustaine has cancer, and cancer sucks. Yes. No, absolutely. I definitely, you know, I've said it before. I wish Dave Mustaine a speedy recovery because uh, the man, I mean, his worst crime is being rude to people that I've never met and never will meet. So who really gives a shit? Plus, the man made rust in peace. Come on. It's, he did. It's wonderful. Um, and, you know. Uh, Plus, we want to keep doing the jokes of so feeling good. Bad. Yeah, no, that too. <laughs> there's been so many good Megadeth albums. There have been. He sells. Um, I mean, they've been good so Metallica. far, so good. So what? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're good Metallica albums. I will always go to bat for Injustice for All. But yeah, but like nothing from from these days. I mean, my my brother, um, well, he actually think he, oh, there's the door. I'm like, it's yeah. a perfectly square, closed room, dead end. Uh, my brother actually still he actually likes modern Megadeth um, somehow, um, but uh, he's, he he even says Metallica's yeah, they're on their way out. They're not good anymore. Like, like he tried to. He really wanted to like their latest stuff, but he could not. There's a thing like, like I was talking about. I I feel like we sort of can apply the same logic to Metallica as we can to like, um, who was I talking about? Judas Priest and like Iron Maiden. Like as long as they don't like completely fucking embarrass themselves with like a a Lulu level like oh god like flop like. Nobody's really going to care that the like the new Metallica album kind of lacks like some of the energy that they used to have because I mean they're all like old like 
they're, 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 you know, they're, it, they're old not men. Even, they're not even dad Talica at this point. I mean, they've got to be like grandpa Talica at this point. Like, I'm, I'm assuming Lars and James have like grandkids. Old men. <laughs> old men running the world. Yes, danger. Um, so you know, who really gives a shit if the if if uh, hardwired to self destruct is not a particularly <laughs> exciting album? Uh, Metallica fans. <laughs> they still sound good live, which is more than I can say for some bands. Like, Dream Theater is coming to Richmond um, in, like, two months. And this tour, they are playing uh, their best album, Metropolis 2, Scenes from a Memory, in its entirety. But it's like, do I really want to pay, like, $80 to go see James Labrie, like fail to hit the high notes on, like, every song? I don't. Um, because, you know, sometimes bands reach the point where they just can't do the things that they do anymore. And if you, I, even if you listen to, like, like, uh, any of the, like, live Rush DVDs or whatever that have come out in the last, like, decade before they, they called it quits, it is very clear that Getty Lee's voice cannot handle the things that 1970s Getty Lee used to do anymore. Exactly. Uh, that's, you know, the risk you take when you write, uh, when you, you do your vocal part, parts in an extremely high register in the 1970s and 80s, you know. Anyway, we were playing Zelda at some point. Yeah. <laughs> we got kind of off the, off the topic here, you know, which is the Legend of Zelda. It's part of the core, part for the course for our, our show. But uh... and this this what we do is also something I didn't mean to interrupt. I apologize, but I fe I feel like this what we do here this getting off course, like rambling, like talking about shit. This is also something that's much more accepted on Twitch than it is on YouTube. Well, Game Grumps do it all the time. You know, I, I say that I know this temple by the back of my hand and I missed a key. I knew you were bullshitting. It's, it's fine. And I know, I, I know where the key is now. It's the key a, is inside the wall. It's, it is. Is it really? Yes. You'll... That's, a, that's a song off the new Dark Throne album. Which, speaking of old-ass bands that still rock, uh, Dark Throne, fucking great. One of my favorite records that have come out this year. To be honest, this is one that I, I always miss, so... There you go. A mission failed. We'll get them next time. Because we have to go through a whole other cycle of the... of the um, water level bullshit okay so yeah the problem is that um it's basically you have to go here uh-huh oh there's a crack in the wall and it has to be at that level and mm -hmm. when it's at that level i never think to go back through that door because it's like on the lower level that's oh, yeah. covered by water, and I'm like, I already did everything over here. But I didn't. Hey, so, look, Link, do you think this symbol might mean something? At the very least, I'm rectifying my mistake. I didn't have to look it up on the internet or anything. <laughs> oh god, we're going into the TARDIS. Despite what you might think about, you know, the, the length of time that's passed between videos and me getting that last Skulltula and whatnot, I didn't look that up. I was just watching, I was just... No, I can footage. independently verify Patrick has not looked shit up this entire time we've been playing. But it's not even like I was, you He's know... He's been holding the controller the entire time, except, I think, once. Did you go to the bathroom one time, or was that during Drunk Run that that happened? That was during Drunk Run, Okay, you haven't let go of the controller at all. During so. fucking Meteor Herd. So how would he even, you know, look at it? You know, how would he answer all of well, his the thing messages is... while he's playing uh, Ocarina of Time? You can't hug your children with nuclear arms, okay? <laughs> so what we gotta do... <laughs> bring it back up to this level, then go back out and down back where we were. Yes, please bring us back to the game. I've completely lost the fucking plot at this point. It's fine. We can talk more about metal bands. Uh, have you seen any good movies lately? I haven't. I saw Tremors 5 recently. Like the oh, other day. How was that? Uh, it wasn't good. 
And it, Has Captain Marvel come to any streaming shit yet? Um, I don't know. I don't even know if... I mean, Ant-Man was on... Ant-Man and the Wasp was on Netflix, but that was after I stopped using Netflix. Oh, you know what? I have been watching a new TV show that is, is good. Uh, I started watching, and I don't know why I didn't... I waited until now to watch this. But I started watching the first season of Ash vs. Evil Dead on Netflix. I've seen bits of that here and there. It's... Uh, it's it's fun. It's very stupid, and it's very fun. I I'm enjoying it, and it's it's always good to see Bruce Campbell as Ash. I yeah. Mean. Like if anything, like I, I mean I've been watching The Sopranos again lately because um, yeah. Every time I come over here, Patrick's watching The Sopranos. It, it's, it's it's fucking awesome. It's because I I, I don't remember if it was if it was Father's Day. I was at my parents' house. And we, we were watching Deep Blue Sea. And then I'm like, that lady in the tower, I've seen her somewhere before. It's Janice! And it's Ada Totoro who plays Janice on The Sopranos. I'm like, damn it, I gotta watch The Sopranos again. <laughs> well, not damn it, I gotta watch The Sopranos again. But, you know, because I never... That's never a bad idea. See, TV used to do that. Because I don't like... We don't... Like, I don't know if, if, if you there, viewer, are different... But I don't ever, like, just sit around and flip through TV anymore. Like, it's always, I'm watching something on a streaming service, like, I, I'm looking through things and then deciding what I want to watch. I'm not, like, flipping through channels. So you don't get anything like when I was, like, in my early 20s, and I'd be flipping through the channels, and Office Space would be on Comedy Central, and I'd start watching Office Space until the part point where they, you know, bleeped something or cut something. And I would go, why am I watching this? And put in the DVD of Office Space and yeah. watch it for the nth time. Um, that doesn't happen anymore. Like, I don't get the impetus to put in, like, a Blu-ray of Office Space because I'm not flipping through channels and seeing shit that's on syndicated TV anymore. And it's kind of a shame. I, I'll, I'll flip through channels, like, if I'm at my parents' house or something like that. Um, because they don't have streaming stuff. They just have cable. So it's like, oh, I'm flipping through. Oh, there's a there's a movie. I, I think that um, when I was there uh, last week, it was like, oh, I, I I could watch The Spy Who Loved Me. I could watch Fargo. Uh, oh, look, they have a they have a mini marathon of Bar Rescue on. I'll watch part of that. Oh, nice. But like, I I didn't bring my PS4 with me because if I brought my PS4 with me, I'd be like, I'm gonna watch The Sopranos or I'm gonna watch some, you know. Brutal Moose YouTube yeah. um, stream archives. And that's the thing, you know, we watch YouTube a lot now, too. YouTube is almost kind of competing with, you know, TV and streaming services in a way, except it's all shit made by content creators. I told you the story. I told this story on the drunk run about, um, about watching, uh, being in my, at, my wife taking my wife to my wife's mom's house because she was having an attack and uh it being like two in the morning and her mom watching oh demolition De man, demolition man <laughs> yeah. on in the background and me trying to explain the plot to like my like <laughs> my, See, like, I... my wife mother-in-law about <laughs> demolition man and just realizing like damn executives did a lot of cocaine in the 80s i was like i i remember i remember that because i I listened to that story again when I was editing the video. It's a good... It, it was good. Um, have you seen the trailer for The Witcher yet? Um, the, I was... The TV show. I was not Netflix interested show. in watching it in the first place, so I haven't been keeping up with that. Uh, it looks... Uh, I'm not a big fan the, of Man of Steel Superman guy. The, the reaction online is, like, super fucking positive. And I'm... I would love for it to be good, but it looks kind of generic to me. Like, it, I hate to make this comparison, but it kind of, like, the effects and everything kind of remind me of, like, the the Sword of Shannara series that was on MTV in, like, the early 2010s. Um, and that show was fucking terrible, so... Well, Netflix is trying to pump out, like, like... TV shows for like every video game now. I, I heard that there was like that there, was, there was another thing that was going to be getting a Netflix series. Uh, well, there's an animated Castlevania series. Well, there is that, but that's good. Yeah, 
Well, the, I mean, they're doing that, I mean, because everybody is, another... everybody's pulling their shit from it now, because every fucking network now thinks that it can start its own streaming service and make that Netflix money, which they're all going to discover that they, they fucking can't. Yeah. But, because nobody is going to, no one's going to spend, you know, $70 on seven different streaming services. But they're more... just going to keep Netflix and pirate what they want. But more on that next time. More on that next episode. And when we come back, we're going to meet probably the most overhyped mini boss in the game. So, until then, I've been Rado Goji. And I'm Sorlin Greg. We'll be here next time. Join us, won't you? you?